Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you guys how to code your car to turn off the seatbelt warning on the driver's and passenger side on an E90 BMW. I always wear my seatbelt, but a lot of times passengers jump into the car and either they take it off for a minute to reach for something or they don't put it on right away and we start rolling and the thing just keeps going and going and going and you got to wait a long time for it to stop beeping at you and it can be annoying at times so I'm going to code that feature off. Alright if you guys are new to my channel then I'll go over this real quick. You're going to need this cable, a K plus D CAN USB interface cable. This is so that you can work with the IMPA software suite and specifically NCS Expert. I will link to a thread that shows you how to set up all the software on your laptop to be able to do this and follow along with me. I have many coding videos on my channel and um, I primarily use NCS Expert because of the fact that it can pretty much do anything. It's a little more difficult to initially get set up but at the same time you can accomplish nearly anything you want to do versus the mobile apps like Carly or whatever it's called um, and whatnot. There are multiple software suites but I choose to use this because you can obtain the cable for cheap and you can use an old laptop to set up uh, the software and follow along. So you're going to want to head into your car, put the key on, press it twice, make sure your fan's off, headlights are off. We got a connection to the car, you got light on the cable. Connect to your laptop. So first thing we want to do is connect up to INPA right here. And make sure we have a good connection to the car. You're going to want to see the two dots at the top lit up. There you go, ignition on. As I was mentioning, you're going to follow the thread uh, linked in the description to be able to set up the software suite to do the same thing. It's well worth it. You know, it's a little bit of work up front, but it'll be worth it in the long run for you guys. So we're good there, we're going to quit, we're going to go load up NCS Expert right here, and we're going to click Run, we're going to click File, Load Profile, and select this here, either Expert Man or RevTours NCS Expert Profile, we're going to hit F1, and then F3, choose your chassis if you're working on an E90 or E92, you're going to select E89. We're going to pull down the vehicle information from the car access system here, CAS. It doesn't matter what you click, you'll still be able to do the same thing. That way it's going to look up all the modules connected and grab your VIN. Then we're going to click back. Then we're going to process ECU to choose which ECU we want to work with. And we're going to look at ABG for airbag. Hit OK. Hit OK. We're going to read the ECU. That's going to pull a file off of it. It's going to pop up your trace file here with all the coding that's on that particular module. That's your confirmation that the file was downloaded from the ECU to the computer successfully. You're going to go into your drive C, into NCS Expert into your work directory. You're going to look for an fsw underscore psw dot trc file and look for the time it's made. It should be right around the time you pulled the file down from the ECU. Load that up and we're going to do a couple searches here. So we're going to look for SBR BEI. So control F SBR underscore BEI that's going to pull up the driver's warning. Yeah, like I was saying, type in after you search SBR BEI. This should apply to any E90 up until 2011 or E92 as far as I could find. 
So S P R B E I F A H R E R underscore two underscore C D is set to active. This is what we got to change to not active. So niche for not active. N I C H T underscore should look just like the one below niche active okay and then the next one we're going to search for is sbr underscore f a h this is the driver side that one was the passenger side probably have to search up and then it's going to be that right there sbr f a h r e r one same story here change this to niche underscore active now we've modified our file we're going to save this as a manipulated file so fsw underscore psw dot man is the file and we're going to save that you're going to overwrite likely because you already have one of those waiting in the directory we're good now we have the file to push back into the ecu so you can just leave NCS Expert loaded, but I actually accidentally closed it. No big deal. We're going to load a profile. We're going to go F1, F3. Scroll down to E89. Grab the info from the car access system. We're going to go back. And we're going to process an ECU. ABG. Hit OK. Basic functions. We're going to want this right here. Coapi read SG get FSW PSW. It's going to actually look in the directory for a .man file and load it up and queue it into memory to be ready to push into that ECU. Uh, basic function perfect ended. So that went smooth. Our code name is um, SG Codirin. If you clicked read ECU, it would have been SG Lesson for for read. So we can change the job. For instance, SG Codirin is to write and um, and whatnot. So just make sure that you have it set to SG Codirin to be ready to code. If we click execute job now. It's going to push that file into the ECU. Coding active. You get a gong from your car. Coding ended. To be honest with you, that took a little bit longer than I'm used to seeing. Maybe there's a lot of info there. What that trace file that popped up was a little large. But either way, we're done. Coding ended is what you want to see. So now we'll go into the car and see what it does when we first start it. I'm going to cycle key on and off once. So we'll go key off. Grab our cable out. So now we're going key on. We should get our original three or four bongs for the passing for the seatbelt light and that should be the end of it the only way to really confirm would be to go for a quick drive with the seatbelt off and see if it bongs at you and annoys the crap out of you so I'm gonna try that now so I just put my seatbelt on the light went off I'm gonna pull the seatbelt off and I get the symbol on my dash but I get no bong it's not bugging me to put my seatbelt on definitely have no seatbelt on right now so I'm one to wear my seatbelts anyway I don't mind I'm not one to drive around all the time so I probably would like to have that light on just to give me a reminder to put it on anyway but I do get the occasional passenger that doesn't want to wear their seatbelt for a couple of minutes at a time here and there and it's just really distracting and annoying to get that warning so now if someone's sitting in the passenger side it's just never gonna warn you and if you're sitting in the driver's seat, um, 
you're gonna get the red symbol on your gauge cluster and uh, just a little bong when you first start the car for like two or three times and that's it, just your normal startup sound. I'm, I'd imagine you could probably code out that red LED if you really wanna drive around with no, uh, no seat belt at all times, but in my opinion, that's not a very safe practice. So you might as well uh, just leave it like that. That's like an older car where it doesn't really bug you, it just leaves the light on. So that's gonna show you guys how to code the chime off that warning bong if you or your passenger aren't wearing their seatbelts. Thanks for watching and good luck.